New developments in the Heinz Funeral Home accused of giving the wrong ashes to nearly 70 families. And Illinois lawmakers are introducing a bill that would make sure it doesn't happen again. Our Carson Gordy has more on the bill and brings us more details. Sangamon County Coroner Jim Allman says that he's been in contact with 70 different families who were given the wrong set of ashes by Heinz Funeral Home and cases spread throughout central Illinois and even the country. From Oregon, California, Missouri, Iowa, uh, we're in the process of getting paperwork together uh, for exhumations uh, to get cremains uh, back. Many sets of ashes came with a tag that was linked to someone who passed away, but many families did not have the ability to make sure that that number traced back to a loved one. Some sets of ashes were missing any sort of identification. A lot of families have found that out when they've been asked if they got any paperwork or anything at all other than the cremains from this funeral home. Their answer was no. Illinois State Senator Doris Turner has introduced the Integrity in Death Care Act. The bill would require a mandatory identification tagging for human remains and would create a system that would document an individual from the hospital all the way to the cremation. Those are two things that were, went terribly wrong in, in this situation. So hopefully, um, you know, we'll be able to enact this legislation and ensure that no other families have to go through this. Turner says she expects this legislation to be discussed more in the spring legislative session, and she plans to speak with other senators to gain support. This proposed legislation is common sense legislation. I think 99% of the people in this industry are doing this anyway. Something had to be done. There needed to be some legislation that was put in place that holds somebody accountable if stuff like this happens. Thank you, Carson. Now, Allman says he used identification tags to give over 25 families the correct set of ashes. Meanwhile, Albert Hines had his funeral home license revoked by the state last month.